Emmanuel, my name is Ruth, reporting for Emmanuel TV. God is with us and he's promised to be with us continuously, not occasionally. As the Bible says in the book of Psalm 139, verses 9 to 10. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. Sunday the 25th of May 2008 was another occasion where God Almighty used Prophet TB Joshua to reveal a message of prophecy to the people. Let us listen to the prophecy of that day. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Those of you that walk on the sea, look this week. Anytime you are going on the sea, use Psalm 23. Okay? So God will continue to be with you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Anytime you are going on the sea, use Psalm 23. Prophet TB Joshua warned those working on the sea that within that week, any time they were going on the sea, they should use Psalm 23 and that God would continue to be with them. In confirmation of the prophet's words, that very day, a freighter and its crew, the MV Amir Scan, chartered by the Dutch company Scans Trans Shipping, was hijacked by Somalian sea pirates in the Gulf of Aden, off the coast of Somalia. Lors Walder, spokesman for the ship's owner, Raider Shipping BV, said his company is in contact with the hijackers and as far as we know, none of the crew has been injured or worse. Let us watch the report of what happened. There are some conflicting reports right now about the whereabouts of a ship that was hijacked two days ago. An official is telling CNN that the ship is currently about 30 kilometers off the Somali coast, but other media reports are claiming that the ship has already docked in the northern Somali uh, port city of Bargal. Uh, the ship has a crew of four Russians and five Filipinos on board. And you know this area of the Indian Ocean where the ship was boarded, it has really become a hotbed of modern day maritime piracy. An international naval force is currently in that area to try to get things under control. David McKenzie has been following this story for us uh, from Djibouti. Uh, David, maybe we should start with the ship in question and these conflicting reports about where it is now. How much do we know? Well, Colleen, it's just as you said, we're getting two conflicting reports. One is saying that that ship had docked in, off that small town in Puntland section of Somalia. The other is saying that they are still on their way. That's what uh, CNN is hearing. But these towns are really cut off from the rest of the world, essentially. The pirates keep in touch with sat phones. They keep in touch by shortwave radio. So there is a, uh, a difficulty knowing exactly what happened, Colleen. Um, why is this area so active these days with this kind of crime? Well, it's so uh, active because the Somali government, as you know, is a very an effective and weak government. They, for years, have not been able to take care of the criminal elements in Somalia and on the coast. The other reason they're active is because they are acting in many ways with impunity. They can go off the coast, they can come back, and in the territorial waters next to Somalia, there's very little that the coalition forces can do at this stage. We spent some days on a U.S. destroyer and then a French uh, boat and the French commander told us that he is frustrated with this state of affairs. When you enter in the territorial water, you need to have the, a deep clearance. That means that the, the agreement of the state of Somalia, in this case, to enter in the territorial water. Uh, with a new UN resolution, we are hoping to have uh, uh, a legal framework to intervene at sea. So basically that commander told us that he's frustrated, but they're hoping now that that U.S. and French resolution that is at the Security Council will be pushed through so that they can go off those territorial waters, take on pirates, but not just that, Colleen, it's also the terrorist threats in the area and the smuggling that happens here. To all those involved in these events, we encourage you to keep the words of Psalm 23 in your mouth, in your heart, and in every conversation. And as you do so, God will continue to be with you through his word and by his spirit. Anytime you are going on the sea, use Psalm 23. Okay? So God will continue to be with you in Jesus Christ's name. 
As the book of Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We at Emmanuel TV and the Synagogue Church of All Nations join together to pray for the crew members, their families, the search parties, the governments involved and all those working on the sea. That the Holy Spirit will continue to shelter you under the shadow of his divine protection. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank God Almighty for revealing the future events to his prophet as a guide to the nations Truly, without a vision, the people perish. To witness the power of prophecy firsthand on a personal, local and international level, join us every Sunday for our live service on Emmanuel TV at 9 a.m. West Africa time, that's 10 a.m. Central Africa time, 3 p.m. Indochina time, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard time, 12 a.m. Pacific time and 3 a.m. USA Eastern Standard Time. My name is Ruth reporting for Emmanuel TV. Stay blessed and stay in faith.